Hello guys, LittleBuddy524 here, and welcome back to another episode of Mind Flip. Today, we are building part of the museum. Um, LB Corp slash Panky Corp uh, is going to be moving this building here, which used to be the monorail, into the museum eventually. Um, we, as a, uh, as a company, we are um, actually <laughs> this sounds so stupid anyways but no we're we're gonna be making a huge museum uh, with all kinds of stuff from past and present uh, flip gaming episodes um, and servers we're gonna recreate some of the stuff um, and make exhibits so um, right now what I've got going on is just two hello hotter uh, we got two windows uh, ready to go and put some glass and we'll do that a little later um, and I also have part of the front entrance worked out I'm still working on it um, but I think I have the basics down hopefully uh, I can get more of this done in this episode but right now I'm just trying to work out a little bit of a design um, I'm having trouble here these these pillars here I like them, I just want them to be more incorporated into the design. I think they're going to uh, go up gradually and sit in the center, something along those lines. Um, I'm not sure though. Uh, it's, it's very, I don't know, it's hard to build on this large scale because, just because of like how big it is, it's hard to envision everything um, as it comes together. So I'm going to grab a little bit more stairs, and I have some cobblestone walls. So we're going to put these in and just check that out to see what this looks like. If we can do like something like that and that, I think. And we're going to see how that looks while we go down. I hope it looks all right. It, I don't think it's going to look terrible, but it just may not be um, enough contrast in the center compared to the windows. Let me see. What's this say? Want me to continue with other pillars as well? Um, not right now. I don't know what the rest building will look like yet. Yeah, so um, I, I really, like, this is completely freehand building. I haven't planned any of this out. This is the first time um, in a long time that I've freehand built like that. So it's going to be gonna be kind of difficult for me for a bit um, until I get my, my hand back into the building uh, aspect. So I'm going to cut away um, and... I'm going to work out this design a little more. You'll come back and there should be, I hope to have those windows done there on either side and something worked out maybe in the middle. We might do that uh, together though. So just give me one second guys and I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I just realized somebody may want to see how this window is built. Um, I know it's probably pretty simple, um, but I thought I'd just show you guys. So um, all I did is it's just stone brick and stone brick spruce wood and cobblestone um, there's upside down stairs here stairs here more stairs all the stairs um, but basically it's just to give the building some depth and uh, really give it a little bit of a texture uh, more than just a flat surface uh, such as that right there <laughs> warp stars building um, He's actually, he's learning to build better, um, and I've been helping him a little bit. It's, that's actually a tough spot to build in where he did, because he didn't dig out any of this hill um, right here. But yeah, it's, it's just to give it um, a little bit of depth and make it more elaborate. Uh, you can't really do that, this kind of thing, this more elaborate style in buildings that are like smaller such as that one you can but there it's just a very different way of doing things um, for example um, statics build that has a lot of a lot of intricate parts um, for such a small building even though it's pretty big this one also right here this is another one of my builds it I 
you can tell my style from static style. I use a lot more stairs than most people, but I feel that stairs give it just that little bit extra, extra depth, I think. Um, <laughs> I, I probably sound ridiculous saying this, but yeah, it's, it's just more, it, it makes your builds look more intricate and uh, more interesting. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you how I built the uh, top part of this uh, this structure. Uh, let's see here. So we got to go uh, back and over a little bit. Boom, boom. Like so. And over here a little bit. Don't know if Hotter lit up that. No, he didn't. That sucks, but that's all right. Hotter actually was helping me a little earlier just build some stuff up. Uh, let me just give me one second. I'm going to pull up the uh, the picture of the other one just so that I can remember where things go. Do, do, do. There we go. Perfect. All right. I got this now. All right. So we need a block up here and a block there. I've got to be careful here. I'm on scaffolding, even though I have my feather falling boots, which is nice. Very nice addition to my collection of things, actually. Uh, right. Should put down a torch up here. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'll go down and get those a little later. Um, next, we need some... Co oh, maybe it didn't drop. I don't know. So we need cobblestone stairs there and there. Then we're going to need some of these. Oh, dang. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of Skype messages here. They need to settle down over here. Let's see. Do not disturb, please. There we go. And there, like that. And now this is the more... It's not so tricky, really. This is just... This build, like, when you're building like this, build in... Th think 3D and uh, how an actual building would look. Like... Most buildings are not completely flat across the front of them. Uh, there's always some depth and uh, intricacy to a building, no matter what style it is. Whether it's modern, like that, these are more subtle in uh, intricacies, like the windows are kind of intricate there, and uh, how these pop-outs are. But um, <coughs> stuff like that can really, really increase the uh, quality of whatever you're building without uh, going too crazy. So if we go here and here, that'll fill in those gaps a little bit. And then we'll throw a stair over top there. Um, and then we'll just dig that out. Then all we have to do yet is just throw that on top of there and that on there. And grab ourselves a piece of, a piece of smooth stone here. Um, and I would, I would continue the, the, uh, what's it called? The wood design as well, but I, as I said, I dropped my stairs. But if we step back now, we can take a look at, uh, what the building looks like. So there you go, that's, that's really all it is. It's not all that, what the? Okay, that happens way too often in my episodes. Like, if you go back and look at all my episodes, there's got to be at least five where that happens to me. Like, at least. Ugh. Every time the creepers sneak up on me. Okay, so, yeah, that's that's basically all you got to do for that window. There, it was not anything too crazy. So this part here and that part there, as you can see, are pretty much the same. They are the same, actually. Just one's flipped upside down. And in the middle there, I don't even have just straight up blocks sitting in the middle here. That notch out of there, that's just to give it a little bit more depth, which is important. So um, I will be right back. I'm going to, as I said before, I'm going to uh, continue these windows. I got two more or one more to do down here, and then I got to start working on this centerpiece. So I'll come back when that window's done and I have one of these done so that I can show you what it's going to be on that side. 
so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back, and it's raining. Let me just turn down the rain sounds right here, because let's I don't really want to listen to that. I'm sure you guys don't either. Oh, my God, Enderman going crazy. Okay, so I worked out, I did the rest of the windows, and uh, I worked out this design for the littler spots here. I think it looks all right. Got some wood incorporated in the middle, um, and it's basically just stairs here where there's the gaps, uh, blocks, stairs, uh, a few more stairs in the middle, and some blocks around, more stairs and more stairs and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to go over here and we'll build it up um, on this side. Uh, okay, so... Um, I I forgot to update you guys on uh, what this is supposed to be. I think I told you it's supposed to be a museum, but uh, we'll get a little more in depth with that just after we kill this skelly here. Ooh, we got a bow. Cool. All right. So it says future f future site of the Flip Gaming Community Museum. Artifacts and historical pieces and piece do artifact and historical piece donations are welcome. Please contact LB slash Corp through our mailbox at one. LB Corp Street, which is now LB Corp Boulevard. Located just north of Spawn, all donations must be sent with a book on the artifacts, significance, and be named. Uh, P.S. All land within the museum walls will be preserved as part of the LB Corp, LB slash Pangy Corp uh, Green Initiative, or LB PCGI. So, basically, I'm trying to keep all of the terrain uh, that's currently inside the museum inside the museum and uh, somehow we're gonna incorporate it uh, it might be kind of hard but we'll figure it out I'm sure can't be that bad uh, although it does take up a lot of floor space and something things like that but it, I it'll look cool when it's done um, I'm gonna try and keep this episode fairly short because I, I think people kind of lose interest after uh, a long episode, so I don't want to do that to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna just actually, you know what, I'm gonna build this next piece off camera and I'll come back when that's done. I don't think this was very long. Um, I'll, fin I'll come back when I'm almost finished. How's that sound? So I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, so we got like three minutes to build this, and I don't think it's gonna take that long. So, um, I came back uh, to let you guys watch this last little bit. So I got the um, pattern worked out here, um, and now the next part of the pattern is going to have. Um, actually, this is the wood part of the pattern. We're up. Here. So we go here like so, and then um, we gotta get some wood here. Oh. That's the wrong thing. There we go. Um, and then, build this dirt up here. Like that. Throw some dirt there. And I'll stand off to the side here. Um, that'll make it easier to build up. This part here consists of all dirt, or all brick. I don't know if I'm sitting too far away. I probably am. I've noticed in my last few episodes that uh, it's quite quiet uh, for the most part anyways. It's it's probably because I'm not, not talking loud enough, but uh, it's alright. I'll figure it out eventually uh, what's causing my terribly quietness. Oh, no. Okay. Um, no, not like that. I want to try and keep these episodes to 15 minutes, uh, just in case you guys were wondering. Mostly just for watchability and, like, the fact that most people are not going to sit there for a 30-minute episode and, uh, and sit through it all. Like, I know I have a few viewers that definitely will because they're awesome. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know a lot of people won't. It's just not a not a common practice on YouTube anymore. Uh, a lot of the bigger people uh, can actually they can do that because they're big YouTubers and people want to watch them. But uh, being a small YouTuber is it comes with its challenges and that's one of them for sure. Um, okay, so that's that's the wall. That is as simple as it gets right there, guys. All you gotta do just. 
it's it's really Minecraft is not a hard game to build in. It's just all about uh, thinking about what you're gonna build a little bit first, mostly, and then um, putting it all into practice. And you can only get better when you practice, and that goes for anything in life, pretty much. Uh, it took me a while to like work out this style in my head, and it also just took me a while to get into the whole building and being okay at building. I still, I, I don't call myself a great builder or anything like that, or consider myself a great builder, but um, I, I definitely have more skills than some, some people. So, um, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching this episode. It should be episode number three, I believe. Thank you so much, um, and everybody who's been commenting, you're doing a great job. Keep on commenting. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't. Um, if you would like the episodes to stay at 30 minutes, let me know. If you would like to keep them down to 15 minutes, if that's more watchable for you, uh, that's great with me too. So thank you all for watching this episode of Mind Flip, and I will see you guys next time.